it's Helen and Hannah, the sports psychologists for Swim England. The purpose of this video is to use the psychological skills we have learned so far and apply them. In this video, we are going to give you some examples of how to apply psychological skills, such as identifying emotions, process goals, self-talk and challenge mindset. Skills that are important for you right now and in the future. Right now, we all have to social distance by remaining a physical two meters apart. These are hard but important rules to live by at the moment. Let's use self-talk to transform the phrase social distancing to physical distancing. While we are physically distancing, we are still connected socially and emotionally. With all of this, you are allowed to be upset. Trying to be overly positive or negative may stop you from identifying true emotions. So instead, we encourage you to think, how can I be effective today? Effective in how I talk to myself, in terms of how I socially connect, and how I view things as a challenge and more. Just as with positive thinking, it is unrealistic to feel constantly motivated. As athletes, you already know that motivation fluctuates. When talking to yourself about motivation, let's shift that word to committed. So ask, how can I be committed to myself, my sport progression and my social circle? Perhaps choose something other than physical exercise today. Maybe read a swimmer's autobiography, analyze races on YouTube, chat swim memories with a teammate, or practice a psychological skill. But tomorrow's commitment may be that physical exercise. If you listen back to this video again, you will hear the use of words and phrases which are helpful, such as for the time being, at the moment, or right now. This allows us to forge the helpful belief that what we're experiencing is temporary. This perspective helps us cope. What phrases or words are you finding helpful and are helping you to cope? Please share and get in touch.